Hey everyone, it's Brian. In this video, we're going to solve this integral, the integral of arctan x dx, or the integral of inverse tangent. This is a common type of integral you would see in a Calc 2 class, and it can be a little bit tricky since it doesn't look like it follows any of the regular integration techniques that you learn. And so when we're dealing with something like this, it's similar to how you integrate the natural log of x. We're sort of left to do integration by parts. That's what we'll do here. And for integration by parts, we need to select part of the integrand as u and the other part as dv, or v prime if you like. Well, there's not much of a choice here. Let's just select the entire arctangent to be our u, and that will make our dx our dv. So I'll write that here again for you. I'll let u be arctan x. And we know when we select u, we need the du. Taking the derivative here, you have to remember the derivative of arctangent x. That's 1 over 1 plus x squared. And since we're using differentials here, I really should put a dx here as well. And then, uh, depends on where you uh, like to write this. I typically like to write the dv down here, but some people like to write it up here. This time we go the other way, the antiderivative of dx. Well, that would be v. The antiderivative of 1 dx is just x. Now, I write it this way because I like to remember how integration by parts works like this. It's u times v, so I do an arrow that way, minus the integral of v du. I do a little arrow that way. So it's u times v. That would be arctan x times x. I'll simply write this as x arctan x. Looks a little bit better. And then it's minus the integral of the arrow going the other way. That's x times 1 over 1 plus x squared, or I'll just say x over 1 plus x squared dx. And now we have a new integral to solve. Fortunately, this one is much nicer. This one we can solve via a simple u substitution. Here we'll take u to be 1 plus x squared, since its derivative is just x up top off by a constant, we'll see. And maybe I shouldn't use the letter u, I already used the letter u, so maybe I'll just call this an s substitution. Use whatever letter you like, you could say u1 if you want. s will be 1 plus x squared, that makes ds 2x dx. And we're seeing that, well this is just twice the numerator, we can make this substitution, this integral, and you'll forgive me, I'm running out of space here, will be minus 1 half when we divide both sides by 2 here. If you like, you could say that dx is ds over 2 x, and that's where that 1 half is coming out front. We'd have the integral. The x dx, that's becoming our ds, and this is over what I'm calling s. Now you just have to remember, what's the antiderivative of ds over s? Well, that's going to be with a 1 half out front, natural log, absolute value of s, I should say plus c, plus a constant here. So now we're ready to write the full answer. I still have this x arctan of x out front here, x arctan of x, but then it was minus this integral here. It went a little bit all over the place, but I hope you'll forgive me. It's not natural log of s. We're not really interested in s here. We want our final answer to be in x's. We started with x's, we should end with x's. So what should s be? Well, we had s being 1 plus x squared here in absolute value. Every good indefinite integral deserves plus c, as I say. There's our answer. And if you want another great video to help you out, I encourage you to click the video on the screen right here. I'll see you in that one.